Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday, August 20th, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do so. You click on the link below this video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com or anybody else on the roster for that matter. Again, free $60 account. Great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Click on the link below the video to get yourself set up for that. All right, here's what's going on for us. First of all, last night, we haven't had too many bad days, but I lost last night. When it's still 27 and 10 uh, over the last couple of weeks with our premium picks, 27 and 10 with the last 37, end up over $7,600 for $100 per unit betters. But it took all the way till Monday to have our first preseason loss. And uh, so we're happy about that. Still winning at a good clip on the season or on the preseason, I should say. Listen, last night, you know, Everybody started jumping on San Francisco throughout the day to get that number to move from plus two and a half and even as high as plus three at some points to San Francisco being as much as a one point favorite. They did it because they heard Jimmy Garoppolo was going to play a lot. We had heard he was going to get maybe eight to 12 reps. Listen, San Francisco didn't win because of Jimmy Garoppolo or because of their own quarterback play. He was a disaster and he's been that way. Uh, this past week in practice, he threw five straight picks. He had a pick early on uh, on Monday night. And that's something to think about. I mean, Beathard didn't play all that great. I think it was five for 11. Nick Mullins had the only touchdown pass. He threw three passes, one for a score. What they did is just run the ball all night long, second half against Denver. They ran for 185 yards in the game. They ended up getting the win 24 to 15. But we saw bad quarterbacking out of San Francisco, at least two of the three quarterbacks. And as far as Denver, Denver is concerned, knew we were in a little bit of trouble. When you have the regulars out there on the field, you have Joe Flacco moving them up and down the field, uh, and then early on in the game, you settle for a field goal when you get down inside the 15-yard line. At that point, man, when it comes to preseason and you know you've only got a certain amount of time with your regulars, you start sweating it a little bit if you've got that side that ends up settling for a field goal. Well, they did it three times uh, during the course of the game as far as field goals were concerned. So kind of a pathetic performance among the quarterbacking for San Francisco, two of their three, and a couple of the backups uh, for Denver did not look too hot last night either. Uh, but again, San Francisco fans, man, and betters, uh, better be checking into Jimmy Garoppolo a little bit, a little bit of concern there from practice and in this preseason game. Maybe he'll be better next week uh, when dress rehearsal week comes around and he has another week under his belt. Uh, as far as everything else, well, we'll be back in action with NFL preseason play, week three dress rehearsal, at least a couple of plays this week. Those will be posted on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Again, on Thursday, along with CFL. And of course, we have college football kicking off on Saturday. Here's the situation. If I decide not to jump in, and I haven't yet on either of these two college football games on Saturday, I am going to be sure uh, to have at least one of those plays be a free play for Saturday's video. So one way or another, we're going to give you that play, uh, either a play or an opinion by Saturday's video. So be sure to check us out throughout the course of the week. As far as Tuesday is concerned, again, 27 and 10 overall run. We've been red hot in baseball. Uh, we did did lose last night. We took the underdog Brewers. They did not get the job done, but we'll look to bounce right back. Uh, we've got a couple of plays on, on a Tuesday slate in Major League Baseball, a side and a total, and also we're back in WNBA action. We hit another seven unit on Sunday. That was with Seattle. The league was off yesterday, right back in action on Tuesday, and I've got a big six unit play for Tuesday's card in the WNBA. As you know, WNBA, I post it at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific over at DocSports.com. Baseball, I post at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, so be sure to write down those times if you're going to uh, get involved with us on Tuesday. But again, WNBA, big elite level six unit play. We've won six in a row in the WNBA, 32, 15, and two uh, with our last 49. That's 68% winners in the WNBA. Don't miss out on Tuesday's six unit play over at DocSports.com. As far as baseball, 10 and four with our last 14. And again, overall, we are up over $7,600 
dollars going 27 and 10 with our last 37 plays. So there's everything in a nutshell for Tuesday's card. Uh, real quick note also, it's up right now. I posted it Monday night, 11 p.m. Pacific time. So it's up and it'll be up until probably August 30th. Uh, but my eight unit over under wins college football future, we've talked about a bunch of teams and, and we've got the one of them that's uh, an eight unit play. That's over at DocSports.com. Right now, you can grab it anytime, 24-7. Uh, of course, you want to grab it before the line moves at all. But again, an eight unit play college football college football future for the upcoming season has been posted and is available at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to the free play for Tuesday. It is a baseball play on Tuesday. It's a first five innings play, and we're going to back a lefty making his debut for the Texas Rangers. Kid by the name of Burke, a youngster who's a southpaw. Uh, we like what he brings to the table. Here's the thing. A lot of times when we're looking at lefties who make their debuts, we like to look to play the under in those games. But in this case, you have a Texas uh, Rangers team uh, that can really put it together in home day games against righties they have all season. They're 9-3 and three in this spot. More importantly for us, they average about seven runs per game in this uh, situation again throughout the course of the 2019 campaign and you got the Angels who are going to go with Berea and obviously he is bombable for lack of a better term we'll make up terms so the Rangers bomb righties and home day games and then you've got the Angels who are going to send a pitcher to the mound who is bombable day or night and because of that we've decided not to play the under with this Southpaw for Texas making his debut but instead first five innings play on Burke and Texas uh, as a side first five innings play and they're a short dog as a first five innings play. I don't want to mess with their bullpen. I don't want to mess with the Angels bullpen if I'm backing the Angels. In this case, we're backing the Rangers. We'll leave the bullpens out of it. We'll back Burke, the youngster, making his debut for Texas on Tuesday. And by the way, note the game time. That is the first game of the doubleheader, so it's about 2.05 uh, Eastern time when this game uh, will go first pitch. So be sure to make sure, or be sure to uh, jump in on that uh, early and check out the lines and all that kind of good stuff. And if you agree, Again, jump on board, and uh, it is an afternoon game, so I just wanted to note that. All right, that's going to do it for us for Tuesday. Again, big six unit play in the WNBA highlights. Tuesday's card, we look to make it seven straight winners in the WNBA. Don't miss out on that or premium baseball. I'm Scott Sprites for DocSports.com. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far, and I'll be right back here Wednesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific, with my next report. Best of luck on Tuesday.